Remember when Hillary Clinton said money doesn't corrupt? Remember when she said that on TV? Remember during the, during the primary when Hillary Clinton went on TV and said, Oh, money doesn't corrupt me. Look, the president takes money. Obama takes money. Remember when she said that? Remember that? How funny that was? For some of us that, that were paying attention saw that. It's fucking hysterical, man. That's what we are in our politics, right? Hillary Clinton, no money doesn't corrupt. No, no, it no, no, it doesn't make, it doesn't change my decision. And then we find out that the Clinton Foundation is precisely a quid pro quo operation where not only does money corrupt and money get you a get you a uh, get you a favor, but there's a dire- there's a direct correlation between how much money you give and how big the favor is, right? It's all about the money. The whole political system is now, it's, it's, a, it's a big cash register for, you know, donors, corporations, foreign foreign governments to get a favor by the U.S., right? Hillary Clinton, oh, no, it doesn't matter. So this one's going to be titled, um, Never Forget That Donald Trump Is Our Gift to You. Trump is a Trump is a look. I don't I don't dislike Trump. I don't like Trump or dislike Trump. All I know is I can tell you this: that Donald Trump is a direct result is a direct result of the Democrats cheating in 2016. There's no other reason, right? They want to blame the the, the Russian narrative is designed to cover that fact, right? And that is the fact that. If the Democrats didn't cheat in 2016, Bernie Sanders would have landslided the election. Would it be Bernie? He would have beat. Because the Democrats do, once the Democrats pick their candidate, they all fall in line. So they would have voted for, De- for Bernie Sanders, no doubt, right? And then the, 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 the win would have been lopsided like 70 30 in favor of Bernie. But because they cheated, what happened was all the, you know, all of the, um, the people that were paying attention that voted independently for Sanders, they voted for, you know, a new deal. You know, raise the minimum wage, universal health care for all, universal single payer health care for all, free college tuition, get the money out of politics, term limits, close the tax loopholes, all those things. That was the that was the, the message. Well what the Democrats because they can't say that, because the donors, they don't want to hear that, right? So they, they campaign on the social issues, and then when when the, when the lunatic lefties didn't get what they wanted, right? When they didn't get what they wanted, they got, they got all, they, they, they just held, they held their ground, even in the light of all the corruption that was being exposed. I want to say also that, let's, let's never forget also... Who, who, who needs to be honored in this equation? And that's, that's Julian Assange of WikiLeaks, right? Indisputably a hero in this whole, in this whole thing, right? They're trying to vilify him, make him out to be a Russian agent, right? Make no mistake, the Russian, well, I, I mean, we have to keep saying it because there's some people coming, coming into the fold still that really think that how corrupt could the government be when they're all saying the same thing, Russia, Russia, Russia? Right? But the, the fact is that in that election, Russia had nothing to do with it. That that what was being exposed was was a, a direct leak from the inside. Seth Rich or Braverman or whoever else, whoever did it, it could have been a combination of a lot of people. Um, but nonetheless, it was it was a leak that caused the the awakening. See all the things that Bernie Sanders was saying about how the money corrupts our politics. Right, he was saying them on national television. It wasn't a revelation, right? And all along, Hillary Clinton say, "Oh, money doesn't corrupt." And then Julian Assange is producing the evidence, actual evidence. See, evidence doesn't matter anymore because the courts are corrupt. The courts follow, you know, follow suit. They just follow orders, right? See, everybody. The illusion that everybody is on the, on the take. Everybody's taking money. It's not necessarily true. Only the top and a little lower are 
taking the money. And the rest of them are threatened with their jobs. They're threatened through pre petty privileges, like in my case, Conti vs. DSNY, where no one was bribing the supervisors to fire me for exposing illegal ticket quota, illegal activity. They were being threatened with their jobs or their petty privileges, right? That's how it works, right? And the, the big players, like, you know, in my case, it was probably de Blasio, Schneiderman, Loretta, Letitia James, the public advocate. Those people are all on the tape, right? They take the money, right? Right? But the, but the rest of the people, like the, the rest of the 98% or 97%, are just threatened to, to keep their jobs. Police are forced to, you know, write ticket quotas. And, uh, you know, judges are told which way we're going, right? In my case, three strikes, you're out, you know? I fought at the discriminatory level, state level, and lost. I brought it to Supreme Court. With piles of evidence, mountain of evidence, silent. Shh. And then I brought it to their bosses, the the high court in New York appellate division. Shh. Shh. Nothing. Did I affect policy? Damn right I did. Damn right I did. There's no more, no longer a ticket quota in New York City sanitation. No longer a ticket quota. I did that. I, I did that. Should I have been compensated? Of course. But that's not the point. It's not about me, right? That's that's not it's not the point. The point is that. Trump, right? Donald Trump is our gift to you, the corrupt politicians. Right? We know who you are, and we know you're also victimized by your own greed. We know that, for example, Nancy Pelosi or Chuck Schumer or you know, even even uh, Keith Ellison, those guys, right? They come into politics with a uh, good intention. Maybe they're civil rights guys or they're. they're um, I don't know. They want to do good. They, you know, they grow up and they're military people. They want to fight for the country. Right? Whatever the reason is, they come into politics and they think they're going to do good, you know. And then they get there. And what do they see? They realize that it's all about it's cold calling, right? They win a Congress seat or a Senate seat if they even get that far. Most of the time, they'll already know what time it is before they even get there. Because if they don't raise the money, right? If they don't bang on enough doors and get the donors to give them money, that then they're not going to become the nominee, right? Especially. You know, Democrats, that's just, that too is a hierarchy of money raising. Right? So, and then, they, you know, if they get through that hurdle, they, and, and ultimately, like, for example, Obama gets a Senate seat and, and makes that break for the, for the presidency, right? They become corrupted by the, by, the, by, the, uh, by the culture of greed. It's a culture of greed. Culture of money grab. That's what we have to change. And that's what Trump's all about. Trump is, Trump, because, not because the Russians interfered, because the Americans interfered. We did. We the people stepped in and said, no, fuck you. They ain't voting for no, not this time, no way. No way, we ain't getting bamboozled, no way. 40 million people, we didn't fall in line with, 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 uh, with that shit. We didn't fall in line with the corruption. We're not, we're not having it. You stole, you stole our thunder. You stole our election. You stole the, the nomination and the presidency and, and, the, and the hope of a new deal and the possibility that that would actually happen. You stole that from the American people. Right? And this is, the, this is what happens. Trump. Right? Trump. That's what you get. Right? You don't like the sexist, sexism. You, you're racist. It's going to build a wall, keep you out. Fuck you, man. It's going to build a wall. Build a fucking wall, man. Keep you out. That's Trump. Congratulations. Yeah, ta oh, tax breaks. You need tax breaks. <laughs> gave his friends tax breaks. He gave all the corporations tax breaks. Now they're even stronger. It's another transfer of wealth. Obama did it in 08. Gave the top money to, to, the, to the criminals. And they prospered and shorted the shit out of the rest of the, the world. Almost, almost drove Greece into the fucking sea. Almost sunk Greece, the country. Right. Obama just transferred all the, all the, you know, gave, gave the corporations even more money. Look at Apple right behind me. See Apple? Give him a finger. Fuck you, Apple. I'm going to download this video in a minute inside the Apple store. But Apple, look at Apple. Yeah, fucking great, beautiful country. Beautiful. Look at that building. Wow, look at that. 
pow, it's like a giant penis flying into the air. Oh, look, Apple. Oh, it's fucking beautiful, right? Beautiful building. How many trillion dollar organization? Man, how much tax do they pay in the United States? Not a fucking penny, man. Not a penny. They steal it all, put it all in their pocket. All the money flies out the top, right? So Trump is the payback, right? We stopped the TPP. Have we had an effect? Damn right we're having an effect. The Clintons would have won the White House. TPP would have went through. The globalists would have been fully in charge. All the secrets would have been stuffed. Right? All their little, little dirty little secrets. The money would have been fl flowing in from, from, the, from you know, all, all the, all the, host the most hostile places. You know, the insurgents, the, the people that instigate the insurgency wars. Terrorism would have been on the rise. We don't have much about ISIS anymore because that's, we've got a new enemy, Russia. Right? <laughs> Let's vilify See, Russia is not Russia is not a hostile nation to us, nor are they an enemy. You got to remember, Russia was Russia was our ally in World War II. Remember, they helped us. They helped us stop the Nazis. They helped us. They they helped. They helped the world. Uh, you know, get get Europe out of the fucking the grip of uh, of, of uh, tyranny with Hitler. Right now, they're the enemy. Right? No, they're, they're a competitor. That's There's a difference. Right? There's a difference. They don't buy... See, the thing about Russia is they're powerful and they're smart. And they don't buy into the bullshit that, that, they, they, you know, that the U.S. wants to sell them. Like, same, same example is in China. China just, you know, with that treasury, all those... Why didn't the, why didn't the Chinese economy flop in, in, uh, during the top, right? Because the Chinese... During 2008, the Chinese... The, the American, you know, Goldman Sachs and the rest of them went over to China and tried to sell them on those credit default swaps, and the fucking Chinese laughed at them. Said, this is garbage. It's a bunch of shit, shit securities based on a highly inflated American real estate market. Right? It was total garbage, right? They're junk bonds, junk, junk investments. But, but Lehman Brothers bought it hook, line, and sinker. Look what happened to them. AIG bought it hook, line, and sinker. Look what happened to them. The Russians and the Chinese, uh, they didn't buy that bullshit. So their economies, their, their economies survived, right? right? The globalists lost their stride. Right? Well, the globalists, see, the globalists, that's, again, and that's why we gave you Trump. Because Trump is not on board with that globalist shit, right? But he's also, you know, highly illiterate in terms of, uh, the poverty levels in, in America and the, the plight of the 99%. Right? My name is Marcus Conti. I'm a YouTube commentator, I suppose, an internet um, investigative journalist, former sole plaintiff in Conti vs. DSNY. I, I'll have more to say about that. I'm letting it, um, I'm letting that case digest a, a little bit because I have. Uh, what is the next move in Conti vs. DSMY? I'll be, I'll be talking about that more as uh, my mind settles on it. Right. Peace out.